Desmos is an amazing way to explore and learn about polar graphs, especially when we get to the tools that I'm going to show you at the end. But I'm going to start here just in my default Desmos viewing screen, and I want to graph a polar graph just like a circle. So I'm going to do a circle with radius 4. So r is equal to 4. Desmos recognized r as the polar coordinate r. Because if I were to have graphed like x equals 4, it would instead graph a straight line. Well, let me get rid of this. It will also recognize the other polar coordinate, which is theta. Let me put a spiral in here. So I'm going to do r equals theta, and I'm going to spell it T-H-E-T. -E as soon as I put the a in, it changes it to theta. You can also grab theta from your keypad here at the bottom, and then hit ABC. It's over here on the right. But we've done all of this in our rectangular grid, but I would really like the polar coordinate grid instead. To do that, we're just gonna go over here to the wrench. So I'm gonna click on the wrench and I want under grid, I want that to be polar. Notice how as I travel around the polar coordinate system, the angle traveled right now is labeled in radians. If I change that to degrees, it's gonna change those labels into degrees. I'm gonna be working for the most part here in radians. Um, let's get out of that and back to our circle. So I'm going to click this. I want to get back to the circle. Let me go ahead and change the color so it shows up a little bit better. I'm also going to make it a little bit wider. Okay. In addition to plotting graphs, we also want to be able to plot points. And points would be our comma theta. I'm going to spell it out again. It would be our comma theta, but Desmos doesn't like it in this form. So instead, let's say that we want to get to this point right here. So this point right here would be a distance of four from the center, so r is equal to four, and from the positive x-axis, we have traveled pi halves. So r comma theta would be, if I do this, four comma pi halves, but it gives me the wrong point. It gives me this point over here, which lines up with four, but it also lines up with 1.57, which is pi divided by two. So instead, we're gonna use r cosine theta for the x and r sine theta for the y. So for this point, r is equal to four and theta is equal to pi halves. So putting it into that form, I want r, which is four, cosine theta, which is pi divided by two. Let's put a parenthesis around that, comma. And then I want r sine theta. So four sine parentheses pi divided by two, and it gives me the correct point. The second graph that I want to look at is a limousine, and we're going to explore points and tracing with this graph. This one is r is equal to, I'm going to do 0.5 plus cosine theta, T-H-E-T-A. And notice it gives me some parameters, so I can go from 0 to 2 pi. Let me zoom in a little bit so you can see that better. So I'm going from 0 to 2 pi. I could certainly change this upper bound. So instead I go just to pi, and I get half of that graph. I do want it to go to 2 pi. Now I want to be able to plot a generic point for this graph, meaning that I'm going to get r from the function. So r is 0.5 plus cosine theta, and I want theta to be any angle. So I know that this is going to be r cosine theta, comma, r sine theta. In order to get points associated with my graph, I need to replace r with its definition, which is this. So I'm going to highlight, and I'm going to do a control C. You might do a command C if you're on a Mac. And I'm going to replace R with that. It's going to need parentheses as well. So I'm going to do control V or command V. So I do need parentheses around this and around this. So a parenthesis right there. But I still have that value theta. And if I click on this, it says too many variables. I don't know what to do with this. So instead of using theta, I'm going to replace it with T. So I can use a slider. OK, so wherever I see a theta, I'm going to replace that with a T. And I've got R here again. My R was still copied, right? So I'm going to do a control V to get my R in there. And then let's put some parentheses around that. So I've got my functions value for R parentheses, and I'm going to replace theta with a capital T. So I can use that slider. I've got one more theta, replace that with a capital T. So yes, I do want to add a slider and notice how right off the bat, my point lands on the graph. Let's make this point a little easier to see. I can even put on the drag function, which allows me to trace this around the graph. But what I really want to do is to trace this between 0 and 2 pi. I'm going to remove drag by clicking and holding. So let's remove drag. And let's mess around with our slider. I don't want it to go between negative 10 and 10. My parameters are between 0 and 2 pi. 
one full rotation around that circle. So I'm just gonna click up where I've got T equals and it gives me these options to change my parameters. I'm gonna do zero to two and I just spell pi pi. I also wanna change the animation properties. So I'm gonna click on this double arrow and I want it to run through a single time. We're also gonna slow down that speed just a little. So let's back up to 0.75. Okay, I've got this back at the beginning and I'm gonna go ahead and push play and it traces through all of my points as I'm going from zero to two pi. The second way of tracing is even better and we're gonna use a rose this time. Let's do R is equal to 0.5 plus cosine and let's do five theta. So we've got several petals, inner and outer petals. To do this, I am going to duplicate this graph. So I'm gonna click the gear and choose duplicate next to my function. And I wanna make that first function dotted. So I'm gonna click on that circle and I'm gonna choose dotted. And I'm actually gonna make this one blue. And I wanna make that second function just a little bit thicker. I'm gonna make it orange just cause I like orange better. And let's just change it to, we'll bump it up to 3.5. Now on both of these graphs, I've got parameters from zero to two pi. On the second graph, if I change my parameter to say go from zero to pi, this is gonna be my tracing graph. I can also change this to maybe something like pi thirds and it will just graph part of that. What I really want though is for this upper parameter to be a slider. So I want this one to be my variable and I'm gonna use A. Let's go ahead and add this slider. And I want those slider parameters to go from zero to two pi. Now we're gonna do the same thing and I wanna trace this just one time. So let's change those animation properties to once and let's do a 0.75. Um, all done there. Let's hit my animation. Let's go ahead and back the slider up to zero so we can see exactly where this starts and how it is traced. I would love to know how you use Desmos and polar graphing. I've got more Desmos for you here. Hey.